Steve Bannon has always been interesting to me, specifically with his arc in Breitbart, the fact that he kind of inherited Andrew Breitbart's legacy and then got it into the White House. I mean, if that's not a white pill for what is possible for a lot of dissident people, not saying, you know, I, I don't know if we would use that term for him specifically, but the idea that like the journalism field meshing with the White House, I mean, all the shenanigans, all, you know, authors have, you know, dedicated their time to figuring out what is going on with Trump using Steve Bannon as the entry point. Oh, and no, so and Bannon, it's very fascinating. Bannon's a self-made guy. I mean, he, he didn't like Roman poverty or something, but he, he's just what I said. He's this fat Irish guy who ended up uh, making it big on Wall Street. And, um, and, uh, and, and I mean, he wasn't like particularly connected. And even if he was, again, like he was, he wasn't connected in the right ways, you know, and people know what I mean by that. Like he's, He's an impressive guy, man, and I'm sure he's a kind of. I'm sure he's like a really fun guy to like hang out with, you know. Like, uh, it, uh, I, like I, I've, I've thought about that, you know. But it's, but at the same time, like he's not a guy who's got. Uh, he is kind of his own worst enemy, and I mean, I, I've got sympathy for the guy too because he's been terrorized by the Department of Justice and all the usual suspects. You know, I, I've, I, I've got another sympathy for him, and I was afraid for him that he, he was going to end up in the slammer because I don't, I don't think Bannon would. I don't think Bannon would do well in, in prison. I mean, I'm not like being a, a dick. I'm saying like he's, you know, he's just not. You know, like he's not. A, he's not a guy from this. I, I wouldn't freaking do well in federal prison either. You know, but it's like, I for his own sake, I was hoping that he wouldn't find himself in the freaking slammer, owing to some malicious prosecution that, uh, you know, um, actually found its way before a judge that was willing to carry, carry it beyond. Uh, you know, a summary dismissal, but it, uh, but no, at the same time, like he's not, um, he's the guys like him aren't realistic. And I believe I, I wasn't just kidding when I said, I can see Bannon in the 1990s, like reading like Sam Francis, like the Sam Francis online forum. Like I believe Bannon really, Bannon, a lot of the people in Trump to orbit, like crazy as it sounds. I mean, people can vouch for this. And these guys were, these, these, these guys like around like 2015, 2016, like started reading, stuff that like people like us put out you know and they were like on the one hand i think they were trying to you know ride a crust of uh a popular sentiment and in, in the way that you know uh nixon uh, uh appropriated the wallace uh coalition but part of it was i i think they generally hadn't been exposed to this kind of stuff before and they found it intriguing you know but they didn't uh and it's kind of like the zealousness of the convert you know it's like you know it's like uh it's like the Presby or the Methodist guy you meet who, you know, converts to Catholicism and then he, he's, he's going to run around acting like more Catholic than the Pope, or he's just going to, you know, be silly about it. And, um, I think, I think there's something of that in Bannon. Like, uh, <coughs> I, uh, I, I was supposed to want to ban it <coughs> because, um, lady I got real close to in Baltimore, whose name we're not going to mention. She's probably watching this. If she is, hi. 